Welcome to mission 6 of Tigers of the Pacific. As of the making of this video, the campaign is released and available on ED user files. Link will be down in the description. The capture of Saipan and Tinian proceeded above expectations. Most Sunshan forces, thinking they faced regular US infantry, surrendered or fled, allowing us to fly in more troops and airplanes from Hawaii. We have done an outstanding job to allow the arrival of these reinforcements, consisting of a Patriot battery, ground troops and 12 F-16C Vipers, as well as an E-3 sentry. Currently, convoys of C-130s are flying in even more forces. However, the Nassau task force has spent so much missiles and spare parts, not to mention the strain on the crews, that it has been declared combat ineffective and has been ordered to return to Pearl for resupply. However, the US Air Force has requested that we provide some airframes for their bait and switch operation against the fighters on Guam, and you volunteered, so here's the business of the day. The Vipers are divided into three groups, Ford 1, Ford 2 and Ford 3. Ford 1 and 2 will establish a combat air patrol between Saipan and Ruda, while Ford 3 is currently underway to destroy Guam's early warning radar. This is meant to deceive the enemy into thinking that we are planning a major strike on the airfield. They will have no choice but to scramble everything. Once in the air, the Vipers will engage and destroy the enemy with our new air-to-air -air missile, the AIM-120 AMRAAM, or SLAMMER, as it has become known thanks to its effectiveness. Springfield 1's role in this operation is to neutralize the smaller airfield on the island of Rhoda. Do not worry about the mix, the Vipers will handle them. Uh, the primary target is the runway itself that must be put out of action, so the enemy aircraft have no place to flee to. Last recon sweep showed the island to be guarded by Shirkus, Springfield 1-2 will carry Mavericks to counter this threat. Once the mission is complete, we need to return to Saipan. We will be flown out with a C-130 to Pearl after the operation, giving a few days to relax before the Nassau arrives for Fantastic Force. Darkstar and Ford Flights will all relay information on 243, but we will have our standard flight controller. Loadout is 4 MK-83 bombs and 2 Sidewinders, we aim not to change it. Radio is, as always, 243. And navigation is, navigation 1 is the navigation point, 2 is the target, and 3 is the Saipan airfield. And our flight route here is pretty straightforward with the change that we don't start from a carrier this time, we start from Saipan airfield. That easily, Springfield 1. I could not let the Chair Force command the US Marines. This will be the last call, Marines. Get some for me. Defenses. Hill, 
Shilk 1-1, one, one. Darkstar 1-1, one, one. Bra 179, 430 at 15,000 knots. <laughs> Shortly after our mission to destroy the runway on Rota, a negotiated withdrawal of the Suntron forces took place. This settlement was aided by the fact that Suntron command realized further assistance would only lead to more casualties, and the fact that their occupation had been mild with no civilian casualties. No, you and your wingman reached Hawaii and enjoyed a week of R&R until the USS Nassau joined you for reloads and repairs. The 1996 Taiwan crisis would likewise be settled peacefully, without shots being fired on either side. The airplanes would never leave the islands, rather they would be stripped of valuable equipment and donated to the local government to become the staple of a new museum over the short war, built outside the airport gates. You, alongside your squadron, attended the museum's inauguration in 1999, during the USS Nassau's visit, during the anniversary of the end of the Suntron occupation. The USF deployment of um, F-16s and an E-3 Sentry AWACS class aircraft continue to this day. 